Good morning, Tumbleweed fans. We are here at Rockhound National Park, uh, camping on, well, there wasn't any sites last night, so our new friend Adrian uh, let us camp out on his spot, and as we were parking the bikes to charge them, uh, well, we've taken it off, but you can see wheels are probably not supposed to do that. Um, the uh, There's a bracket that ties the... You have to bring those too, eh? Yeah, I'll take one of them. There's a bracket that ties the tie rod onto the, uh, onto the wheels, and uh, one of them is now in two parts, uh, which is not exactly optimal for going down the road uh, in a straight or safe manner. So um, we obviously have to replace these parts. They were made out of aluminum, uh, unfortunately not as strong. We got a piece of steel from the guys at the, uh, the parks department here. They, they also, the rangers, they also gave us a uh, drill and a hacksaw. So all I got to do is go into town and get uh, the proper metal drill bit and uh, another one or two hacksaw blades because the one they've got is kind of not going to do it. Yeah, it'll take you probably two days to cut it. Yeah, to take two days to cut it. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm going on a little mini mission by myself because obviously James is stranded here. James is going to go and find rocks in the mountains. We're going to do a little two-story thing. Not just rocks, crystals. James is going to go find crystals in the mountains and um, we'll flip back and forth. It'll be super interesting. Just wait. So, um, Paul has, uh, has left to go to Deming today to pick up, uh, some extra parts and tools for, uh, to fix Sky over there, who is looking a little bit depressing. <laughs> so, since I can't ride, I'm going to be here, um, hanging out. I actually was reading that this place has a lot of uh, crystals and semi-precious gems and all that kind of stuff. So, I think I might go and climb up to the top of that ridge over there, of the mountain, and uh, do a little searching. Maybe do some photographs and take some video and yeah, find some cool stuff. Just heading into Deming. So uh, I'm just at the base of uh, Thunder Egg Trail and uh, basically I'm going to be taking this trail a little ways and then uh, I went just before this I just went to the visitor center and uh, asked the guy like, where is where's the best place to find some uh, some cool looking rocks and uh, he said that if you stray away from the path and go up that ridge up there it's real you'll find the good stuff so I'm gonna take his word for it and I'm gonna, I'm gonna climb up there success uh, we just stopped in at uh, best hardware and I got my uh, hacksaw blades A couple of high speed uh, steel quarter inch drill bits. Uh, that's all I really need now. Uh, we've got the drill back at the site from the uh, nice people at the park staff, and we've got the uh, they've got the, the saw and the metal. And so uh, all that's left is to head back there and uh, try to uh, fabricate something real quick and get James's bike on the road again. Look at the pretty mountains. Apparently they're just stuffed with precious and semi-precious gems. Maybe James will find us something that'll make us a bunch of money. Wouldn't that be nice? Ta-da! Very interesting. This this one has like a bunch of stuff in it. This one. Has like it was cool. It has like this red stuff streaking through. It's kind of like a crystal, and then this stuff, this smooth reddish 
type stones. So, uh, I'm happy so far. Also happy with this awesome view too. I wonder what, um, what Paul's up to. Hope he's, he's managing well. This is not our town. I got pulled over for the first time um, on one of the roads that I got on. And uh, I, they said I had to be on the shoulder. I said, okay, I guess I'll go on the shoulder, which was very bumpy, full of glass and stuff. But I made it into the hardware store. And uh, well, when I was talking to the policeman, I asked him, uh, what about roads that don't have a shoulder? He said, well, just keep right. I said, gotcha, no problem. So I'm headed back towards the camp, and the same guy pulls me over. And he says, oh, there's no shoulder here. I said, yeah. He said, well, Maybe you should get yourself a flag. Fine, okay. And he, he leaves and he goes on his way. And uh, about 100 meters later, I got flat because he pulled me over into a bunch of thistles. So, um, what's, what's safer, guys? <laughs> oh, time to repair a tire again. So, I think I made it as far as I'm going to go. I mean, I could go up there, but uh, this took me long enough. It's a uh, crazy look at that. That's, that's a big, big drop. <laughs> but yeah, I'm uh, at the top, so I think I'm going to set up a camera and do the time lapse. And while that's going, I might go uh, search for more rocks. I mean, and uh, see what I find, because apparently up here is the best, best uh, place to uh, find find the good ones. Paul, you're being schooled, buddy. Fixing bikes with hippies, man. This is what it's all about. <laughs> Fair enough. This crap is so much dangerous tighten your up. Well, yeah. I mean, it usually works backwards, you can tell. I'm not saying I have one. Well, no, I never tried that before. Let's see if we got you. Trying to help, bro. You Hell, I wouldn't man. help nobody, man. You got it. I wouldn't help somebody who wouldn't help a damn self anyway. People don't help themselves? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Damn. All right, so you probably can't see it, but we got that tie rod on. We fixed up, uh, we, we replaced both those metal, uh, those aluminum brackets with steel and we got it all towed in properly so it's riding nice and uh, sky is ready for the road once again. We'll be on the road tomorrow morning. You happy James? Yeah. Happy. She's, uh, she's back. She's back. <laughs> <laughs> Treat her nice. We'll get uh, we'll get a new tire on the back there and uh, some tubes and stuff because I wasn't doing too well and we'll make it for the coast. Not a single flat. Probably 700 miles. We won't get a single flat. Is it goop? Uh, maybe we get some goop. I don't know. I've been talking with some hillbillies. I got it in my in my mouth right now. Let me uh, let me get back to my diction. Thank you for joining us on the Tumbleweed Project today. I hope you enjoyed our journey. We'll see you next time.